Phelps. Well, he's a bop. What are you doing? Pulling my tail. Because your tail's in the way. You got too big of a tail. Anyway, out here abusing my my animal on World Animal Day. It is World Animal Day here in the end times in the former paradise. Uh, where are we? Garfield, Texas on this hot, sticky, miserable midsummer day in October. Uh, that would be Thursday, October 4th, 2018, I believe. And so the little dog and I, we've been out hunting down turkey shit in the hot sun all day. So we're back from that, back in front of the cool AC to cool off on World Animal Day. And uh, so I'm going to do what I do pretty much every day, sitting in front of an air conditioner in October. And that's to go on to the mainstream media to look at the Doomer headlines. But you know, guys, before I do, I just, I've been meaning to do this rant. And this is as good a time as any. It's not really a rant. It's just uh, letting you know about, speaking of Doomer headlines, this uh, fellow that I'm, if I can find my right glasses, my we are fucking so fuck shine going everywhere. This fellow that I'm su subscribed to, his name is Reynard Loki. Reynard Loki and his website or little, I guess you call it a website, is called Earth Food Life. <coughs> now I honestly don't know if, uh, I don't think Reynard Loki is the same Loki from Loki's Revenge. And I'm also not 100% sure Robert, you can let me know. I, is, is the guy from Loki Revenge, is that our Alert Tribes member Robert Callaghan or not? Anyway, I'm trying to keep all you guys straight, but uh, whether Reynard Loki is or is not Loki's Revenge and Robert, he's a good guy, and I thoroughly recommend that you two sign up. I will... Uh, how do you sign up? Well, that's a good... Uh, I guess it's okay just for me to... Uh, well... This is a project of the Independent Media Institute. Well, anyway, I'm just assuming it's okay for me to put the email. So anyway, his his email, if you want to sign up, is Reynard at ind.media. I'll put a link to that. This is just to give you an example of today's uh, list of Doomer headlines, some of which he pulls from the mainstream media and some of which he pulls from elsewhere. Just going to go down the list how he saw fit. How about 99% of birds are going to have plastic in their guts in a few decades? Yep. Uh, I think, and I already talked about that article. Here is how our coffee addiction is destroying the environment. Yep, yep. Your morning cup of joe most likely played a role in destroying forest cover and wildlife habitat. Here is the Pentagon is losing the battle against climate change. Thousands of U.S. military installations are affected by flooding, drought, wind, wildfires, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Okay. On the radar, now all of these have links. So what he does is pretty much just give, uh, he comes out with this every few days. 
and gives all of these links to these various Doomer headlines. This is from the On the Radar. Here is the UN Environment Program just declared meat, meat, the world's biggest problem. Well, to the extent that humans, that we are meat bags, as our maybe former tribes member Andy Gardner. Andy Gardner, do I need to write a third obituary for Andy Gardner? So to the extent that humans are meat, then yes. Uh, as long as the UN Environmental Program just declared human meat the world's biggest problem, then I don't have to hit the bullshit detector button. <clears throat> Oh, this is Vanity Fair's uh, spin on, very similar title to uh, Bill McKibben's spin on it. Vanity Fair, Trump administration to polluters. Earth is doomed, so go hog wild. I mentioned this story, this hilarious story. Radical vegans strike fear into the hearts of French butchers. We've mentioned here PCBs threaten to wipe out half the world's killer whales within decades. Uh, more information on the turtle extinction crisis. Uh, here's one from the University of Oxford talking about these unadulterated uh, biodiversity commitments made by nearly one-third of the world's biggest companies. All right, from the Humane Society, California becomes first state to prohibit the sale of cosmetics tested on animals. Here is their coverage of that uh, Happy the Elephant, Happy the Elephant, who has been kept in solitary confinement for 10 years. Uh, good old PETA showing up after over a decade of pressure, Burberry ditches fur. There's some good news. Uh, here is writers in the war against nature. Yes. Uh, all right, here is from the, so after the on the radar column, then Raynard Loki he does his take action, take action column. I will not, I, I won't be so cantankerous as to hit my, uh, to hit my bullshit detector button. This is when he goes through this various list uh, of, of uh, mostly petitions you know, petitions to sign to save the planet, uh, letters to write politicians to save the planet, you, you know, maybe climate marches to go on to save the planet. And so anyway, what do we have here? Uh, Urge FEMA, urge FEMA to mandate protections for farm animals. Yes, PETA tell festival and fair venues to leave wild animals out of all future events. And. Tell the net, tell NOAA fisheries to stop killing threatened species. 
Yeah, so uh, I anyway, if you're into that, and, 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 and you know, guys, uh, it, it, if it makes you feel better about yourself, if you want to give uh, yourself a pat on the back, and if you want to sleep better, and you want to absolve some of your guilt from your consumer and lifestyle choices, such as coffee and meat and car driving and whatever, by signing these little petitions and telling all of these fucking planet eaters uh, not to be planet eaters, which is kind of like me telling Sancho Panza not to chase chipmunks. We need, I'm going to start a petition here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Tell Sancho Panza stop chasing chipmunks. But go ahead, knock yourself out. I'm, you know, I, I am in full support uh, of any clueless moron signing all of these little petitions. But if there's anybody on the planet who thinks these little petitions are going to do a goddamn thing except probably piss these fucking planet eaters off more than, they're, than they already are, uh, you know, pull your head out of your ass. But anyway, I mainly uh, go on to Raynard Loki's for his news links. And then we leave each update with a parting thought. Okay. This is the parting thought for World Animal Day from a fellow I've never heard of named William Ralph I-N-G-E, Inge or Inge, I don't know. Anyway, take it away, William, for our parting thought. <clears throat> Quote, we have enslaved the rest of the animal creation and have treated our distant cousins in fur and feathers so badly that beyond doubt if they were able to formulate a religion they would depict the devil in human form. Thank you. Uh, so what is the mission statement of Earth, Food, and Life explores the critical and often interconnected issues facing the climate, environment, food, agriculture, and animal and nature rights, and champions action, specifically how responsible citizens, voters, and consumers can help put society on an ethical path of sustainability that respects the rights of all species who call this planet home. EFL emphasizes the idea that everything is connected so every decision matters. Okay, and he just says, questions, comments, suggestions, submissions, contact editor Raynard Loki at Raynard at, that's R-E-Y-N-A-R-D at I-N-D dot media. And you can follow EFL on Twitter at Earth Food Life. Uh, and you can follow, do you realize that Humpty Dumpty Tribe now has a Twitter uh, account? Yes, Humpty Dumpty Tribe has hit the big time. And I found that, that we have five followers on Twitter. So Humpty Dumpty Tribe now has a Twitter page and a Facebook page. So if you want to, uh, I guess you just go over to twitter.com or facebook.com, I don't know, and put in Humpty Dumpty Tribe if you want to uh, join Humpty Dumpty Tribe over there at uh, Facebook or Twitter. Come see us. 
but now that I've done my good deed and given Brother Raynard some free press here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, not sure he appreciated all of that. And Raynard, if you're if you're listening, brother, you, you, you know I, I really do re respect anyone's decision to take action to save this planet. Uh, I'm just a little bit deeper into the onion than you are, man. And uh, but we need all kinds out here in the good fight. And with that, I really am going to dive into the mainstream media. Uh, to flesh out what Raynard has to say about the state of the planet on World Animal Day. Here is what I have to say about the state of the planet on World Animal Day and every other day. We are so fucked. Bye guys.